Uh, I don't really have anything to say at the top of this episode, so why don't we just get straight into it? Before we start, I just want to let everybody know that the footage we're about to see does not belong to me, it belongs to AMC. But, without further ado, episode 7, lights, camera, pfft, ow, action. Why am I such a chaotic mess? Now, the question is, oh my god, there's quite a fair few of them. The question is, did Martinez and the governor leave each other on good terms? I do not think they did. But I got a clue. You can't think forever. Sooner or later, you gotta make a move. You never let me win anyway. Well, that wouldn't be winning. This chessboard. Is a symbol of how the governor lives his life. The pawns are the pawns, we must um, protect the king. And like he just said, what did he just say? Something about you gotta make a move. So you've been on the road all this time? Yeah. You okay, Brian? Brian? Who the fuck is Brian? See, all the lies that um, Phil has set up to these ladies, um, Martinez could just undo it in like one second, really, couldn't he? We've got a camp about half a mile from here. Hell no, Martinez. we got too many miles as it is. I got a kid for Christ's sake. Hey, if you do come back with us, there's two things you got to accept. One, I'm in charge. Two, no dead weight. That goes for everyone. Martinez. Does the governor look like someone who's got to follow orders from someone who once had to follow orders from him? You, me, your mom, and Tara, we're gonna be okay. Cause we're good? All of us? Um, most of us. Your turn. Brian? It's your turn. Ryan, it's time to make a move. I'm thinking. I mean, I don't want to encourage Phil's bad behaviour, but I have a feeling he's going to do it anyway, so I might as well just embrace it and be excited for it. Especially when he's surrounded by people that I'm not emotionally attached to. Now, when he comes face to face with my prison crew, then I'm going to be, um... Praying for his downfall. But what? No, man. Yeah, flex your aggression. How's the fishing? There isn't any. The pond's dead. There's a door now. He's still got rabbits, skunks, some bosom out here. You better watch your ass, One Eye Bry. One Eye Bry. He's nicknamed him. This man is. <laughs> He is not going to live long. His life expectancy is very short, I can tell. Hey, what eye, what you doing? I can't believe he keeps calling him one eye. The level of disrespect is far too much. What is this? Who gives a shit? That guy's got nothing to worry about anymore. So, Alicia. Alicia, right. You in the Marines or something? Army, in the reserves. All that dirt and dust, no thanks. I didn't mean, I don't want to get my hopes up, but I'm all about to, well, we about to see our first lesbian couple in. You always as full of shit? Yes, I am. Oh, I love it! Now I feel emotionally invested. And also, this geezer in the white with the orange backpack, he was like, we can't... We have to bring him back to our camp because they got a kid. That was a really nice thing to say, so I'm emotionally invested in him as well. And Martinez, yeah, I'll throw you in there too. Rapist? 
oh my god, someone is going out and just like beheading people and claiming, well it could be true for all I know, that these people need to be ridded from the earth. I don't know if liar needed to be ridded from the earth, but whatever. You do you, boo. Took himself out. You think he's the one of 86 of those military guys? Oh. He still has his head. Some of it anyway. It's out. Shut up. Oh no, please don't eat him first. Just punch it in the face. Oh my god, is that the head of the liar and the rapist? Wait, who is this? Brian, you just like saved them all. If it was just you in that pit, I wouldn't have brought you into the camp. If it weren't for the people you were with. The girl. That's a very brazen statement. Do you not know what your old mate is capable of? What about those heads? As long as the guys did the wrong thing with the wrong man. Probably best not to think too much about it. Better listen to one eye Brad Pete. I can never tell if he's winking or blinking. This man, he do got some nerve. There's army too. Stationed out of Fort Benning. Stayed for a while after it all started. That's my Pete. He's too loyal to bounce. What about you, Brian? What'd you do when it all went bad? <laughs> Don't ask. Ah, oh, damn it. Hand me another one. Are you two going to talk about, like, what transpired between you two? There's some things you just can't come back from. They become a part of who you are. Either you live with them or you don't. Mm -hmm. Why well, you seem to be living with them pretty well. <laughs> so are you. You're lucky. Couldn't, I couldn't do that again. Couldn't risk it. Couldn't sleep at night knowing I was going to lose them. I'm not going to lose them. Yeah. Ah, oh. oh, jeez. I should have taken some golf lessons. Before <gasps> oh, Lord. That fucking freaked me out. That came out of nowhere. Oh, Martinez. Ooh, look what I have such an headache. <laughs> One eye dry. How are you going to explain that away? You turn up to the camp, next thing you know, their camp leaders brain damaged. Oh, he might not be brain damaged for long now. He might be brain infected. Oh, I've heard a scrunching and a crunching. Oh, shit the bed. Martinez, I was kind of rooting for you to survive. See, a leopard never changes its spots. And no one watched that happen, no? We found what was left of Martinez in a pit this morning. <gasps> that is so Looks suspicious. Looks like he was hitting some golf balls. He got drunk. He fell in. So now what? I'm taking leadership of the camp. Oh no, P, you won't get killed next. We should vote on who leads. Now this is temporary. We'll find some kind of way to do a vote in the next couple of days. For now, it's business as usual. Okay? I volunteer as tribute. Mate, I'm obviously joking. I can't even run a bath efficiently, let alone a fucking community. There are a hundred questions and people are looking at me for answers. Well, that's hard to lead. Yeah, I could use some help. Well, funnily enough, he used to be a governor. How many? Ten. Maybe less. 
They got a lot of supplies, so. Maybe we should take them in. Are you crazy? We barely got enough to go around as it is. Well, we can't ransack and steal from the other living. It's different if it's derelict houses and bloody derelict businesses. They can't just go in and rob other little tribes. But if we roll up on them quick? No. No. We can find our own supplies. Come on. Oh, Pete, I think you might be too good for this world. You're going to be dead by the end of the episode too. I've decided to emotionally detach myself from you. What a joke. You did all right. Yeah, a couple of damn squirrels, some condensed milk. What do you want from me? I'm trying here. those supplies you worried about supplies these people are dead mitch You're damn right they're dead that was gonna happen either way now some other groups got our stuff well yeah there must be some other people out here in the area it literally just happened you went off and hunted down a couple of squirrels came back and everyone was dead i bet one eye bright is thinking which one of these two should i kill the one who's aggressive and angry, which he can use to his favour, or the one that is loyal, but maybe too kind, that might be a liability. It isn't safe here anymore. What are you talking about? We can't just run off. I'm the only nurse in camp. Tara's got Alicia. What about Megan? Things are about to go very wrong here. Where are we going? Alicia, maybe you should slow down. No, I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Oh, we're together, really have okay? We have everything back there. We have food. We have shelter. Do you know what? Actually, looking at this has got me thinking. Maybe you should set up camp around a marsh. So they can just get stuck in the mud. Or find a castle with a fork around it. What are you doing? Surviving. Wait, they went back to the camp? We need to talk. About Mish. Come here. About Mish. I knew this was coming. Oh, we're getting him so out of scared. trouble. Oh! I knew it. I'm so sorry, Pete. I think he chose Mitch. Unless he's just gone kill Mitch as well. How could he go around murdering everyone and keep getting away with it? How has no one seen this yet? <laughs> yeah, I don't mind him dying. Call me one eye bright one more time, you piece of shit. Mitch, ya you bitch, you'll end up in a ditch. Where's Pete? He's dead. <laughs> Oh, you don't kill me too now? Hopefully. Huh? For the old guy at the camp? What did you do, my brother? You were right about that camp. We should have taken their supplies. I don't care that you killed the old man. Men like your brother, always doing the right thing. Even if it cost their own people. I knew this was going to happen. I said it, didn't I? He was either going to choose Mitch's way or Pete's way. And it seems like I got my answer. I'm running things now, and I will do everything it takes to protect this camp. <laughs> now you join me. I promise you, you'll never have to worry about whether you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. Because we will do the only thing. He's not, I don't think this Mitch is going to appreciate you after you've murdered his brother, mates. First chance he gets, he's gonna 
Put a knife in your back. We'll tell them he died on a supply run. Saving our asses. This is just so suspect though. You come into camp and then our two top dogs are dead. People believe what they want to believe. Mitch and I and Pete, we saw what people can do out there. You come across strangers, you just avoid them. Come back here and tell us what you saw. Okay, let's go. You don't have to do this alone. No, he got you. Oh. Well, one got past the marshlands and the pit way through Martinez in. lake looks gorgeous if it weren't for all the fucking dead bodies swimming beneath it oh my god the walkers can breathe underwater well i guess they're not breathing are they so it doesn't really matter episodes ago and then the proverbial proverbable what am I even saying proverbable proverb this is when the shit's gonna hit the fan is what I'm trying to say you know what there might actually be a good chance that um Phil runs into camel out there in a wood somewhere Oh, it's me, Sean! Really, Phil, you could take your shot and take him out. And if, oh, if you do, sir, I'm not gonna want any goodness to come to you. Even though I already don't, I hate you. But I like hating you. But if you kill me, Sean, I'm gonna hate hating you, bitch. And I'm gonna want you dead. Okay, guys, the episode is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. Okay, this episode, once again, was following um, Phil's journey. And his journey ended up being reunited with Martinez, who is now the leader of this new camp. And he himself have a couple of henchmen now. Ooh, my, how he has rose to power. So he's got Mitch and he's got Pete. And between the three of them, they all run this camp and they let Phil and his little entourage in. Which, in hindsight, was not a good thing to do because um, Phil ended up killing Martinez. He ended up killing Pete. And then he threatened to kill Mitch who is Pete's brother, um, he told Mitch, I killed your brother. And Mitch is like, oh, okay, I'm going to work with you. And so now Phil's in charge of this camp. But there was a little side story going on, and that is, there are other people out here in the wilderness, because we keep seeing beheaded people, and then we came across a camp of living people, and then we disappeared from them for about five minutes to go hunt down a squirrel. And when we came back, the whole camp was dead. So there's obviously someone or someones out there who could be just as savage as Phil is. The plot, just like my waistline after a summer full of barbecues, is thickening. And it looks like that Phil storyline and the Prisoner's storyline are about to coincide one more time. And I'm so excited for it. But I'm actually really super nervous as well. But it's a good, strong, bloody start to this four episode week. And if you want to be with me for the rest of it and you haven't done so already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And down in the comments section, I want to know where you to put yourself in Mitch's shoes... Would you agree to work with the governor? I mean, I know at a time when he was, you know, held at gunpoint, he's been an agreeable guy, which is a smart thing to do. But since then, he's had a chance to kill him and he hasn't. I personally, if someone did my family dirty like that, first opportunity I got, 
But I want to know your opinions, and I want to know your opinions about anything, so sound off about whatever you want down in the comment section, and let's have a conversation about it. And until next time, stay safe out there!